In this guide I'll show you how you can choose the best and most accurate color and picture quality out of your LG 4K OLED or NanoCell Smart TV by adjusting some basic TV settings which anyone can follow. So let's start. Our LG TV is running on WebOS but the settings should be the same for any other operating systems. We'll start with the color modes or presets that are available. Your TV may have the standard mode selected by default. If you care about color accuracy and want to see movies or shows in their true color, then I recommend you to choose one of the ISF certified expert presets, filmmaker mode or cinema mode. They may look yellowish or warm, but they will ensure the most accurate color out of the box. Now we'll turn off some unneeded settings, which you must do to get good picture. For that, we need to head to all settings, then general, go to the right and enter AI service. Make sure that AI brightness settings is turned off. Then we'll go back and go down to energy saving. You also need to keep energy saving step to off or else it will mess up your brightness. Then we'll go to picture, advanced settings and at the bottom you have an option to reduce blue light or reading mode. You can toggle it on when you're reading something or surfing the internet. Now let's go to brightness, adjust the panel brightness according to your need. The next option is contrast or white level and the other one is black level. There are some charts that you can use to fine tune this, but to keep it simple, around 80 for contrast and 50 for black level is usually a good spot. Now, for gamma, if you are in a dark environment, then you can choose BT1886 or 2.4, though they may crush texture deals. It's generally good to use 2.2. Just go with the one that looks best in your eyes. Now let's go back to advanced settings and go to color. Color depth is saturation and if you want more vivid color then you can bump it up but you can keep it as is. The other settings are fine by default and for the last two options you'll need calibration tools anyway. So we'll go back and choose clarity. And I'll ask you to turn off everything you see here. Try reducing the sharpness to zero. And if you're bothered with film grain, then you can set noise reduction to low. As we have connected a USB drive, these settings is grayed out for us. That's all. Now we can go back and adjust the settings for all inputs. In case you want to go back and undo all the changes you have made, then you can always do that by hitting reset. Congratulations, you've just made your TV look and feel top of the line. But remember that at the end of the day, it all boils down to what you prefer. Let me know what you think and I'll see you soon.